y'all my name is teacher felicia i am an artist and i love studying culture and travel today we're going to talk about some african patterns and african hairstyles we last lesson we talked about how to draw a face and began our african woman drawings all right so one of the most traditional african styles of hair is some sort of head wrap or hair wrap we have a lot of thick hair. So it's nice to get it up off of our shoulders. So one way to draw this, if you remember, we didn't have hair on our person last week. So some people in Africa too do shave their heads. So you could leave it with a shaved head just like in the movie Black Panther if you've seen that. But for this class we're going to learn about other options as well and you can pick what you want yours to look like. So, we have a bunch of extra space here in our forehead. So I'm going to do this shape and this shape and continue making those shapes until it fills up. So we have the head and the eyes are halfway, mouth is a quarter, ears are a quarter as well. All right, so I'm going to draw that part of the wrap and that part of the wrap. I think I'll do this side next. And I'll do that and I'll do one there and one there and one there. There you go. So we have these different sections and each section we can do a different pattern in. Let's look at some African patterns. What shapes do you see? What is a pattern? A pattern is shapes that repeat. We talked about evens and odds. One is odd, two is even, three is odd, four is even. Oftentimes patterns will have an odd number when they're in art. So you can see one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. This one does have two. Let's draw this one. A circle with a point and a circle with a point. And it's just that same shape repeating. We could do it bigger too. And then inside of those, we have some repeated shapes. So pattern is all about repeated shape. Let's look at some traditional African Dutch prints. African Dutch, well, they originally came from the Dutch and then they became popular in Africa. Another sheet of patterns, a traditional art form in both India and Africa, is block printing. Block printing is where you take a block like this, dip it in ink, and then you stamp. Much like a stamp, an American stamp pad, or a stamp that we use. Each block on that sheet is a square. There's a circle with a circle that shape and then that shape repeats inside of the square. This is called positive space, but when we create a pattern, we also have negative space. In the negative space, I'm going to put a different pattern. I'm going to do lines, 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 a smaller circle, and more lines. There's an even number of lines, an odd number of circles, and an even number of lines again. Let's talk about some different African hairstyles. So I guess first of all, I should start with dreadlocks. Dreadlocks are a very common and traditional hairstyle that people of African descent have. Here is a drawing of dreadlocks. Dreadlocks look kind of like ropes. Oftentimes people with dreadlocks will have very long hair because it's like a rope and it's strong and we may even put decorations in it. You can see that there are some beads in there. This one is a woman who is Muslim. She is wearing a hijab. 
let's look at how to draw a hijab. Much like the headscarf, I'm going to start with those lines, put one in the middle, go around like this, bring it down, and it is a scarf, so you can make that type of shape. And then on the other side, I'm going to connect it. So there, I'm gonna make it smaller still. There is one example of a hijab. Who has curly hair? So there is big curly hair. Do you have curly hair or straight hair? What you do with your hair is another thing that is part of your culture. This one I'm going to make girls. Not only African Americans and Africans have curls. People from many other different backgrounds also have curly or straight hair. Even though many people from Africa are darker skinned, also people from Africa can be white or any other skin tone as well. So any hairstyle you choose will work. These three are specific to the continent of Africa. So, all right, have a great afternoon or evening or day. And I hope that learning about other cultures is helping you to learn about your culture.